Before we get into this week's fishing video, I just wanted to say that flytyingyarn.com, which is a site that I run with my wife, is shutting down until probably June-ish, give or take a month of 2023. We just bought a house in Wyoming, and for the next few months we're going to be kind of between there and Utah, and so it's just not a convenient time to fill orders and register the new business to pay sales tax and all that stuff. So if you want some yarn for this winter's fly tying adventures, then go over to flytyingyarn.com. Uh, it's gonna be open still for about another week, and then after that, you're gonna have to wait several months to buy yarn. So go head over there if you're interested, but now let's get on to the fishing video. Good morning, it's a cool morning here in the mountains, and I'm at this reservoir that I've never been to before, let alone fished before. I might fish the reservoir later, but I'm really a creek guy. I prefer to fish creeks. And there's a creek flowing into this reservoir. You can see it coming in right over here. I don't really know anything about fishing here. Looking at it from here, there's not really any cover. It's just like a, an open creek. So yeah, it might be a little bit tricky here to fish today, but I'm excited. I'm open to catching anything. Whatever is willing to bite, I'm willing to, <laughs> to catch and land. Okay, so I'm fishing here a new rod. It looks like a rod that I already have because it's just the, the smaller version of one that I already have. So this is the Daiwa Sigiri 39MC. This is a rod that I've been looking for. I've, I've been on the hunt for this rod. Uh, they're hard to get. I'm not entirely sure they're still made, but uh, one of you guys, a viewer, had one and you were willing to sell it to me. Uh, this is a zoom rod. It goes from, let me see here, 34 or th 340 centimeters to 390 centimeters. So that's what, like 11 feet to 13 feet ish. That is a beautiful rod. The big brother of this rod, the one that I've had and used for a while, is one of my favorite rods, the Daiwa Sigiri 45 MC. And so I'm fully expecting to really like this one. So this spot here, all the area that I can reach in the reservoir is, is pretty shallow. I mean, where I can reach with this Tenkara rod is only eight inches deep max. I'm not seeing any fish, but I'm keeping my eyes peeled as I walk toward the inlet stream over here. To me, lake fishing with a Tenkara rod is at the same time just kind of silly <laughs> uh, and also kind of fun. I'll put a picture of the fly that I'm using here. It's a, a brown fly with a yellow thread head and a, and a grizzly hackle. It's what was already on my line so that's what I'm fishing with. None of this looks very fishy to me. Looks cool. But I don't see, I don't imagine fish hanging out in here. Yeah, this rod is so light, it almost casts itself. And that is a rock or something. I have an 11 foot line on here and I'm fishing this rod currently in its shortest length, but I'll probably mix that up a little bit. Okay, this looks awesome. Like right now, I'm gonna make it a little bit longer. This looks fishy. Yeah, I got a couple of spots coming up too that look really, really good. Got one. Let's see, what do we have here? Oh, interesting. It's a brook trout. There he is. Have to dump him back into the pool he came from. See ya, buddy. Okay. Sweet. Caught a fish, didn't take too long. This looks really juicy over here on this far right side. Got one. Oh, you guys see that? I knew there would be a fish over there. It just looked too good. 
because you've got this whole spot here and that is a little bit deeper a little bit slower there's a little bit of cover this ticks all the boxes of course this coming up here looks even better but for this immediate area oh i think that was another fish there we go got him now that is a cutthroat second species of the day we're doing well this is a bonneville cutthroat trout that's what's in this area oh there he goes see you buddy Got one. Oh, darn it. I was slow on the hook set. That was a good sized fish too. I was in the, oh, I don't know, 10 or 12 inch range, I would say. Got him again. I think it's the same fish. Oh, smaller than I thought. But it's a little cutthroat trout. I think the fly is out. Beautiful fish. Cutthroat are just incredibly pretty fish. Awesome. This rod is so nice. For a small stream with small-ish fish, it's just a beauty. Now the, the stream does get a little bit smaller, I think, just from looking at it on Google Maps. It's pretty wide and open down in here but then it goes into the forest and it gets a little bit more covered with trees so i i do have a shorter rod with me that i might have to switch to in case the cover gets really bad but we'll see okay i just got my fly stuck in this tree above me here so i tied on a new one it's a ginger hackle peacock curl body red thread yeah right here i wish i had a shorter rod and a shorter line on I want like an, a seven or eight foot line for here because there's this tree right above me and lots of juicy little spots for a trout to be hanging out in but it's tricky tricky casting yeah and I'm stuck this rod is so nice I know I keep saying that but I think I might have a new favorite rod in this size class. And I feel very accurate with this rod. Okay, this looks awesome, but also very clear. Try to knock it hung up behind me here. Got one. Oh, darn it. It came off. Got one. Under the log there, under the tree. a beautiful cutthroat nicest fish yet beauty beautiful fish really nice fish for this stream yeah that was right under or alongside the that downed tree there fish must have just been hanging out underneath there saw the fly come alongside it went out and grabbed it the rest is history. Got one. Yes. I tossed that fly basically right onto his head. I didn't 
see it there, but as soon as the fly hit the water, the fish took it. Fly is out. Another really nice fish. I'm gonna take some pictures of this one. See ya, buddy. What a fun creek. It's a little bit challenging, but not too challenging. That's kind of a nice, sweet spot. Got one. Oh, let's not have the rod float away. I just put the rod into its longer length to fish, to cast kind of above this plant and over into that, that far little quiet area at the bottom of those, those little riffles. And that worked. There's a fish chilling right there. See you, buddy. Okay, well, the creek is getting much too small and overgrown for that long rod. As much as I like that rod, it's not practical for a, a creek that's so overgrown like this. So I've whipped out the Nissan Prospec two-way 320. Uh, and I'm fishing it at its shortest length right now, which is 20, or 270 centimeters, which is what, nine feet about? And I have a seven foot line on here. So this will let me do some bow and arrow casts into these tight, tight sections like this. Got one. Oh gosh, that was... That was ugly. Still, it's fun to catch fish on a short rod and short line, or at least almost catch them. It's fun to hook onto fish on a short rod and short line. All right, guys, the creek got super overgrown after that. Didn't fish much longer, didn't catch anything else. So hiked back to the car and overall, awesome little rod. It might be a front runner for being my favorite rod. I need to fish with it a little bit more first to see if that really is the case. But first impressions were awesome. What a great rod. If you can find this rod, I think you'll really like it. But again, that's kind of the hard part. I don't know if it's being made anymore. I don't know where you can get it. You know, just Google it, see if you can find it somewhere. Had a great time fishing. I landed six fish and lost a few more. I think it was five cutthroat and one brook trout. Fun little creek. I'll have to go back and fish the really tight overgrown section sometime in the future. But thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you have any questions and I'll see you in the next one. Be sure to subscribe to the channel here if you haven't already. And don't forget to check out my flytyingyarn.com store if you're looking for yarn for your fly tying needs. And then finally, I have another YouTube channel called SUV RVing that covers all of my non-fishing adventures if you wanna check that out. Links to all of those things and more will be in the video description.